guys welcome back to world illuminator 11 and welcome to day number five of our series create magic in your life i hope you're enjoying the series so far as much as i am so before we get into the decks and the little book of happiness today i'm just going to talk about something that is really important on your spiritual path something that is important in your life maybe like me before you sort of started your awakening or you know had your awakening it's something that you didn't do and um but when you do go through your awakening it is a really important part for you to bring that into your life and it's also something that is very important for you to create magic in your life and that is time for just being time for stillness time for silence where you quieten the outside world and it's just you in that place of silence connecting to your inner power to the divine you know by going within making time for going within you know making time for connecting to your inner magic because that is where your inner magic is it's from where you can create that magic in your life by having that deeper connection to yourself so it is really about you know making time for that in your day ensuring that you bring in the time to just be you know it can just be time for you to just lie there you know just listening to the sounds outside and you know not, not really doing anything just being you know making time for stillness through meditation making time for you know for silence even going for a walk or sitting under a tree where you're just there sitting and just listening to the sounds of the birds and dogs barking in a park, whatever it is, but just being. And the power that comes through from that is that it is where you connect to your true power, where you connect to your inner magic and, you know, where you can hear the messages that come through for you as well. Because when you're busy in your day-to-day -day life, and we all we are all busy, we all have those routines that we do. You know, whether it's taking kids to school, sitting down for work. You know, it's like all these things that you are doing during that time. There is so much going on. Most of the time, it's like you're an autopilot. You're just doing these things that you have to do, and you know, there's a lot going on in the mind. You're thinking about all sorts of things, but you know, you and you can't connect to your inner magic when you are doing that. You can't connect to that inner power that you have. So you have to make the time for that stillness. And when you have that silence, when you are having that stillness, that helps you to be able to tap into your inner magic. It helps you to be able to connect to that part of yourself that is divine, that part of the, your soul, to hear the messages of your soul. You know, sometimes maybe you can be in silence and nothing happens, you know, and that's okay. But you are in this place where you are teaching yourself in a way to connect deeper. And as time goes on, you will find that, you know, even if you may not get messages right then, you may get a message at another time. Or you may see something, you know, during your time of meditation that will guide you on your path. Or, you know, it opens you up to be in a place of being more present in your life. You know, even whilst you're busy doing all sorts of things, the more you go within, the more you connect to your inner power, the more you make time for stillness. It helps you to find more of that awareness in your day-to-day -day life. It helps you to find more of that peace, more of that calm. It helps you to connect more to your magic. It helps you to be more present in your life. Even if nothing happens in your meditation, it helps you to be more present. And the more you are more present, the more that helps you to actually be able to see what's going on around you, to, you know, to observe yourself, to work through things that you are creating in your life. So it's a very important part to help you move forward in your life. And it's something that is important for you to ensure that you bring into your day to day life. You know, if you are busy, maybe you've got children, you've got to take the children to school, there's work, there's all sorts. Maybe make time for that stillness before you, the children wake up, before you start your day. When I wake up in the morning, I just make time for me to just lie there. Where I'm not asleep anymore, I'm just lying there, listening to silence. 
and and then i then go into meditation and this is before i turn my phone on then go into meditation and you know it's usually a quick meditation in the morning because i'm sort of trying to get things done but i always also do a meditation later in the day you know before the end of the day in like a break in my working day it's something that i know that is really changing my life and you know just those times of that silence helps you to connect to that part of yourself that helps you to create magic, that inner magic that you have. So it's something that is important for you to do. And also talking about that silence and just being and, you know, and meditation and stillness, there is also solitude. And solitude is something that can be seen by other people as, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's a bad thing. I want to be with my divine masculine. I want to be with other people. You know, other people even can see it as something sad or lonely. You must be lonely, but it's not even that. Solitude is where you find your true power. It is where you connect to who you truly are. You find your true self during the time of solitude. And if you are in solitude right now, Know that it's not just happening because of your 3D world and the way things are or your divine masculine is not coming. It's happening because your soul is choosing it. And your soul is choosing it because this is the part where you are meant to come in and go within and connect to your inner power, to your inner magic. So it is happening for a reason. It's about embracing this time of solitude because it is there to help you to connect to who you truly are. It is there to help you to create magic in your life by really connecting to the power of, of yourself, you know, your true self. So really embrace the time that you have in solitude and know that this too shall pass. It nothing lasts forever. You know, things are going to come in. There will be loads going on. Your divine masculine life, getting busy, all sorts of things, you know, and you won't have that solitude anymore. So embrace it. Be grateful for it. And, you know, use this time to connect to your inner magic. For it is only during this time that you have that time to yourself that you can, you know, find your true self and connect to that magic within and be able to create magic in your life. So that's the message that's coming through in your day-to-day -day life. Make time for that stillness. It has certainly changed my life. You know, I like I said, I don't get much happening when I'm sort of in meditation or whatever, but I see the benefits that are coming through from it because I make time for that. And it's something that is now something that I know I have to do for myself because it's helping me to connect with the power of who I really am. So that was the message that was just coming through today to really ensure that you make that time for stillness. You know, if everything happens, the more you open yourself up to doing things that are there to help you to move forward on your path. And the more you make that time to go within, the more you make that time for that silence and just being, the more that is actually opening you up to connect to your inner magic in a powerful way. It may be a way that you cannot actually put your finger on and say, this is what's happening, but it is actually helping you to do that. So that's the message for today. Make time for stillness. Make time for just being. Make time for going within. That is where your inner magic is. That is where your power to create magic in your life lies. Okay, so let's see what messages are coming through. So starting with, uh, today we're going to start with the believe in your own magic. So thank you, angels. What message is coming through for everyone from believe in your own magic as we start this week. So message that has come out today is dragons and it says slay them all. So this is about being in your power. And I feel this is about, you know, anything that doesn't serve you, getting rid of it. Anything that comes in the way of you stepping into your true power, getting rid of it. You know, so let's see what it says. Number six, dragons slay them all. So the message coming through with this one is when the heart is involved, people don't always have the best intentions. They will pretend they're good for you only for you to find out they're toxic or even abusive. The time has come for to face, the time has come to face your dragons and you must slay them before they slay you. 
of course don't literally slay them but make sure they know you won't stand for their mistreatment so this is about like i said getting rid of anything that comes in the way of you stepping into your power and you know creating magic in your life it can be other people can be certain situations in your life you know it can be people who don't want to see you you know rise as the powerful divine feminine or divine masculine that you are people who may you know want to bring you down people who are there to bring in negative you know messages to you and with their negativity and you know, uh, oh, jealousy, whatever it is, people who don't want to see you rise. So it's about, you know, slaying those dragons. And that's about, you know, protecting your own energy field, walking away from those situations, you know, saying no to that sort of energy to look after you. And the more you can do that for yourself and stand up for yourself and walk away from what no longer serves you, the more that helps you to connect to that magic that you have within. Because you're not being sort of dragged down by energies that you don't need to have dragging you down in your life. Okay, so little book of happiness. Message coming through today. So we've got here, be here now, which is a powerful message, you know. And when you are in that time of stillness, you are in the present moment. You are here now. Santosa is a San Sanskrit word meaning content contentment. Santosa is a Sanskrit word meaning contentment and acceptance for where we are right now. Allow this beautiful word to enter your vocabulary and let its message brighten your daily life. Bringing a little more Santosa into your life will enable you to be fully present in the moment and this will increase your overall sense of happiness. So Santosa is about contentment and acceptance. So bring that word into your vocabulary, you know, and, and just really sort of be in the place of bringing more of that acceptance, acceptance of where you are. If you are in solitude, acceptance of that solitude, see the blessings that is bringing in for you, Access, acceptance of your life you know, and, and contentment. So that's the word, Santosa, contentment and acceptance for where you are right now. And the more you are in that energy of accepting where you are, being happy with where you are, you know, no, you have dreams of things to come, but for now, where you are, it's about living that with joy, with that contentment, accepting it, and knowing that it's part of your journey to get to that life that you dream of. So it's about that. So that's the message that's coming through. And that will increase your overall sense of happiness. If you're constantly wishing that life was different, then, you know, you know, seeing the blessings in your life right now, you are in the place of living in the future or wishing that, you know, you were living a different life. So you're not finding that contentment in your life right now. So that's the message coming through. Release your struggle. Let go of your mind. Throw away your concerns and relax into the world. And that's by Dan Millman. So this is also about releasing that struggle. You know, the struggle of wishing things were different all the time and, you know, being in your mind too much, worrying about the future, whatever it may be, or concerns about your twin flame journey or divine masculine, you know, and living in that sort of energy. Just relax into the world, relax into this world, into this present moment, into this life that you're living. And that's going to increase your overall sense of happiness. So that's, those are the two messages coming through for today. Be here in the here and now. And making time for stillness and silence and just being helps you to learn and teach yourself to be more in the present moment. And, you know, the more you are doing it, the more it also helps you to be in the here and now and to also be in that place of contentment, you know, and acceptance for what you are living right now. So that's the message coming through. So relax into the world. There's no need to try and fight with, you know, what is and just accept and, you know, and find contentment in your life. So let's see what other messages coming through. Thank you, angels. What other messages coming through? And when you have that joy and contentment as well, it really helps you to find more or to connect more to your inner magic because you are feeling good. You are in your happiness 
and you know and you're creating that for yourself by accepting what life is now and living your life in joy and the more you are in joy the more that helps you to create that magic in your life and the other cards that came out is peace so really beautiful it's about finding that peace and that's that energy of meditation that energy of just being that energy of you know silence that helps you to find peace and when you have that inner peace you know you find more of that happiness and joy within yourself because happiness comes from within you know and it is something that comes from you having that peace and that peace comes from that time of solitude the time of connecting to your inner magic to your inner power you know the time of going within and making you know connecting to that silence within yourself so it's about you finding peace and the more you can find peace you know the more you are in that energy of being grateful for the life that you're having acceptance of what is now then you will find more peace because you're not in that struggle of you know if only things were like this and worrying about things of the future you find more peace the more you have peace the more you can create magic in your life. I hope you have a great day, guys. Sending you so much love.